Hey everybody, this is the best Jack999, and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Last episode, we, uh... Who could it be? Uh, saw Frieza and his father, they came back, uh, they were defeated easily, I was like, it's like they're just there to show how strong the character was. But, now we get to find out who this mysterious youth Dad. is. Oh, it doesn't seem like it. Are you my dad? Energy's like my dad's when he became a Super Saiyan, but something's different. <laughs> That's him, isn't it? Keep your guard up. We don't know who we're up against. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna head over there and wait for Goku. You're more than welcome to join me. So weird just seeing this Trunks. So like in almost like almost every recent Dragon Ball game, it's just been like Trunks has been like the omnipotent sidekick or person in charge, like in Xenoverse or Dragon Ball Heroes. He's gonna show up right over there. This is just regular normal Trunks. So what do we do? Uh, I'm I'm gonna follow him. Yeah, me too. I'm going to find out who this creep is. Oh. He doesn't seem like a bad guy. No, he doesn't. What do you think, no Krillin? This guy is, but he seems legit. I think so too. He had to have been a Super Saiyan. If Goku's as strong as this kid, then he's at a completely different level. He doesn't look like a bad dude, but I'd still keep up my guard. Yamcha's right. It'll be okay, Yamcha. <laughs> yeah, don't cry. How do you think he knows Goku is going to come here? I have no idea. Maybe my dad knows who he is. Vegeta, there's a dinosaur coming! Yeah. Ah! Trucks run! Oh god! No. Go on! You can't fight the dinosaur! What? Uh. I was stuck in the air. Yeah, I said some dinosaur. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Great. Great, now there's a dinosaur here. I think I can handle this. Pickle's like, go on, what the hell did you just do? Maybe it's someone Goku met on some faraway planet. But he seems like he knows Earth pretty well. True. If Goku actually does show up like this guy says, then we might get more answers. It's true. Maybe. But true. If Goku actually does. Damn him. He won't stop staring at me. What the hell is his problem? He's starting to piss me off. What? I see you beat up a dinosaur, Go on, Nice. Um. So, how do you know my dad? Well, I've only heard about him. I haven't had the privilege of actually meeting him yet. Oh, uh, really? So you're like a super fan? So, hey, how do you know when Goku's coming back? Well, I'm, I'm afraid I can't tell you that. I'm sorry. This is always like the point in like the arc where like Yamcha and Tien were just bros in my opinion because they just kept on like slinging out insults and stuff like that it was more like just like in the original dub where like Tien was like what is a shoe size a secret too and you know just like yeah oh no they always like 
have some one-liner and stuff like that. So, <laughs> it's just goofy. Ask, you were Super Saiyan when you beat Frieza earlier, weren't you? How did you do that? I don't know. Unfortunately, I can't tell you that either. Sorry. Sorry. What's your name? Uh, that too. You can't even tell us your name? Well, what about your age? I'm 17. So you can tell us your age. But that's all I can tell you. I really am sorry. <gasps> You're my son! Shit! Uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. You saved the Earth after all. It'll be another three hours before Goku gets here. So please, just hang tight a little bit longer. Oh, the dinosaur's in here. I was hoping it was... He should be here soon. And then Jace comes out. All right, mate, time to die. Huh? Goku! Dad! How'd you guys know I was gonna be here? This young man here clued us in. Who is he? You mean you don't know who this is at all? No, nope, never seen him before. <laughs> Goku, the classic yard track geek. Who took care of Frieza and the others? That was some crazy energy. We've got him to thank for that as well. He made quick work of them by becoming a Super Saiyan. A Super Saiyan? What? I need to speak with you in private. <coughs> <coughs> with me? Uh, yeah, sure. Hey. What's the big deal? You're gonna keep us in the dark? Hurry, Sorry, guys. Just hang tight for a bit, okay? I just need to talk to this mysterious boy. I guess I'd better go talk to him. So. Cookie's level 37, too. Getting a lot of stuff now. Eventually, who knows what will happen when this thing gets filled out soon. That'll be the day. Weird. Ultimate scissors, paper, rock. Well, this is like its own little island. All right then. Hey guys, Prime Golden careful, Wolf Meat. Hey, welcome back. Thanks, Chaozu. And you're a sight for sore eyes, Goku. As much as I'd love to chat, I think the newcomer takes priority. <laughs> Welcome back, Dad. Glad you're here. You'll have to tell me about your travels later. Screw this youth guy. I don't even Boy, know I'm who glad he is. To see you, Goku. I'd love to catch up, but you better see what this guy has to say. No. Glad to have you back, Goku. <sighs> <laughs> Now's not the time for idle chatter, Kakarot. Where have you been this whole time? You better fill me in later, Buster. You got it? I suggest you talk to that guy. But stay on guard. Of course, Piccolo, of course. <sighs> Let's see what he has to say. Die! I need to know something. Are you Can able to you become a Super, super Saiyan at will? will? Yeah. I mean, I couldn't at first. But I can control it pretty good now. That's great. Now I have to ask, would you mind transforming I need to see it, now? please. I, 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 I like it. You got it. 
This good? So, what now? Now, I'll become a Super Saiyan too. This is when Goku's finger is stronger than Frieza. Goku's Whoa. finger. And I'd like you to fight me. And Please. I won't go easy. Fine by me. Oh god, I made a mistake! Ah, oh, flubbed it. Trunks, why do you have these moves? Dodge these eventually. Eventually, he won't get super armor. Man, that's super armor. I just love to give it, huh? What do you mean? If you only had arrived here earlier, but for some reason... Just play around it, Jack. Play around the super armor. You know, like, he, his attacks cannot... His attacks have the privilege of not getting stopped, but yours can! You did, Trunks. You did. <coughs> Amazing. You're just as good as I'd heard. No, better even. Okay, I'll tell you everything. My name is Kira. But please, it's important that you make sure not to tell anyone else what I'm about to tell you. Gotcha. Don't worry. Talk away. Your secrets are safe with me. It might be difficult to believe what I'm about to say, but I've come here from 20 years into the future, using a time machine. The, the future? 20 years from now? Whoa! My name is Trunks. I'm Vegeta's son. What? No way. Vegeta's son? What? Actually, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. I'm going to be born two and a half years from now. But that's not why I came here. There's something much more important I need to tell you. So please listen. Huh? Oh, oh. right. Three <laughs> years from now. On May 12th. It's always at May. 10 a.m. Wait a second. Cell Game said his was going to be on May. I don't think the dragon. No one knows what. <laughs> Next time. I'm sure Cell's gonna say the date for his Cell games. I need to remember this May 12th thing right now. It's always May. Two May 13th was Piccolo Day. May 12th is Android an show up. Five and a half miles southwest from South City. South City. Who are they? Are they aliens? No. They're androids. Dasha Zero made them stronger than Frieza. Earth. They were created by a mad scientist from the former Red Ribbon Army. Named Dr. Giro. You never met him because he didn't exist yet, but he was there. Red Trust me, Goku. Army. That's right. The same one you took down many years ago. Oh yeah. When I was just a little guy. Little I boy. I got rid of those guys a while ago. 
Like back when I beat up their boss. Yeah, like no one else was there, you know, like. Unfortunately, Doctor Jiro survived. Fortunately, Doctor Jiro had plot armor on, and so he wasn't even able, able to be found. So what's he after? World domination or something else crazy? I'm not entirely sure, but it's possible that was his end goal. Probably around the same goals for the Red Ribbon Army. Just take it over. Make like android soldiers. But his androids were designed to be killing machines. And they eventually turned on their creator. Oh no, who could have saw that coming? Meaning, the androids were free to kill and destroy to their heart's content. No, not it's been that! Just me against the two of them. I struggled to make it out alive. Wait. Uh, what happened to everybody else? They're gone. <laughs> 20 years from now, I'm the only fighter left. And Yajirobe's there too. In the fight. Three years from now, my father over there, Krillin, Piccolo, Bulma. everyone is killed. Only Gohan managed to make it out alive. He taught me how to fight four years before I came here in the time machine. As you know, with Piccolo gone, the Dragon Balls could no longer be used. And King Kai didn't bother to help us find out where the new planet Namek was. Meaning we couldn't bring anyone back once they were killed. The androids' unquenchable lust for bloodshed eventually turned the world into a nightmarish hellscape. They're too strong. Nothing can take them down. Nothing. Wait, hold up a sec. What about me? They didn't kill me too, did they? You were stuck on the couch, Goku, watching marathons. You weren't ever able to leave that couch. Even you couldn't join in the fight. Not too long from now, you'll fall prey to a severe heart virus. It's kind of hap uh, what's happening now in this world today. What? Well, <laughs> this is a pickle. I'm guessing Rick. sand beans won't work, huh? Nope. No folklore medicine would work, Goku. Man, this sucks on so many levels. I can't believe I'm gonna die in such a lame way. I really wanted to fight those guys. That's why you need to train your red blood cells, Goku. We're gonna train your red and white blood cells to fight. Smart! You're disappointed you can't fight them? Aren't you scared? No! Freaking Goku. I wanna fight. Well, yeah, I'm scared. That's my character. But you said they're crazy strong, right? Of course I want to fight them. I see. You really are a true Saiyan warrior, aren't you? Here, when you start to see symptoms, take this. It's a medicine developed 20 years from now. It should keep you alive. Whoa, really? Awesome! Thanks! Normally, history shouldn't be changed. But I've got to do whatever I can to prevent those atrocities from coming to pass. Respectable My trunks. Mother always spoke very well of you. She knew you'd help us. That's what pushed her to complete the time machine. Wait, your mother? She knows who I am? Yes, she knows you well. Wait, you said she built a time machine. Isn't that right? And the only person I know who can do that is... Uh, crap, who is it? <sighs> Ooh, is it launch? Way. Your mom isn't Afro Bulma. She's right over there. Oh god. The worst oh! one of the worst Bulmas. B Bulma? Out of all the stuff you just told me, that's gotta be the craziest. I thought she'd stick with Yamcha. You seen Yamcha? He's I don't think you'll ever learn. <laughs> To think she'd end up with Vegeta of all people. I mean, it just makes no sense. Please, make sure not to tell anyone. I can't have people knowing who I really am. And don't post it to Twitter either, Goku. If you do, well, I uh, might never be born. Oh, yeah, right. Mum's the word. Well, I'd better get going back to my own time. I need to let my mother know how everything went here. Hey, are we going to see you again? Making a round trip in the time machine requires a lot of energy, so it'll take some time. If I can survive until then, I'll definitely come back to lend my support three years from now. Stay alive. What a great new goal. Now I'm going to start training extra hard for the next three years. 
Whoa. Why is Trunk silver? Whoa. Whoa, is Z... In this arc, Trunks is a Z fighter, so... <coughs> I'll put him in that tree. So here what happens here's what happens. Well, now I just gotta figure out what to tell everybody about this stuff. Hey, hey Goku! We just saw that guy take off. Where did he go? Oh, uh, uh, uh him? Well, uh, yeah, he uh I, I guess you could say he went back home. Went back home? So just who is this guy? Your son, Krillin. Uh he um he uh well he's Hey. Isn't there something more important you should be telling us? Huh? If you can't find the words, then allow me to help you. What? Piccolo, no! My sense of hearing is leagues above any of yours. Relax, all right? I won't say anything that could possibly endanger him. We're not going in unprepared. If we die, it won't be for lack of skill. Wait, die? What are you saying? On the hunt for the androids. Pirate Empire. Piccolo explained the situation, being careful to avoid revealing anything that could expose Trunks' identity. The others could do little to hide their shock at what he had to say about the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that Old would brings appear up a smart three solution, years but from now. No one agrees with her. In order to prevent history from plunging into darkness, everyone made the decision to train for the upcoming fight against the androids. I liked Goku, Piccolo, and Gohan's training. Oh, uh, was Vegeta's training was intense. <laughs> yeah, I'm just training. Aw, oh, poor guy. Androids, huh? Man, I never thought I'd hear anybody mention the Red Ribbon Army again. Was that young man really from the future? I'm just as shocked as all of you, but I actually think we can trust this guy. Kakarot. Kakarot. Spill it. How did you get off planet Namek alive? Right. We've been going crazy wondering what happened to you. We've made our own conspiracy theory videos. Yeah. For a second, <coughs> I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second, I somehow managed to find on a perception. spaceship. That's right. The Ginyu forces. You took one of their ships. But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. <laughs> they were going back there again to teach them a lesson. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the Yardrats wear? Yep. Yep. They were all super friendly. They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yardrat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. Picked up some of them, right? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more, but they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. It's called one of the most useful techniques. Now, all this work like in the uh, game. Instant, instant transmission? transmission? Yep, instant transmission. The weird thing is, is that you have to home in on the energy of a person, <laughs> not a place. So you can't warp to a place unless you know someone there. <laughs> That's one heck of a downside, huh? That's not much of a downside, if you ask me. Well, I guess there's nothing you can't do now, huh? <laughs> all right. I guess we'll all see each other again three years from now. <coughs> and where yep, should never, we meet? Never meet that before. Just, you know, just train three years. The androids will arrive May 12th at 10 a.m. on an island five and a half miles southwest of South City. We'll be meeting up on that same island an hour earlier at 9. And don't show up unless you're ready to fight. <laughs> Planning an event three years in the future? This seems so weird. We're not gonna babysit those unable to pull their own weight. Oh, uh, Piccolo, I want my cookie and milky. <laughs> it's so early. Kakarot, you may be a super saiyan, but mark my words. I promise I'm going to put you in your place soon enough. Yep. It's all Vegeta cares about at this point still. He wants to be stronger than Goku and wants to be a Super Saiyan. That's he doesn't give a shit about the androids. The well, maybe he wants to care about them just so he can beat be them up me. and show how strong he is. 
Vegeta's only so thinking about himself. We'll see each other in three years. Uh, where we said, hey, don't show up unless you really feel you're ready. <laughs> All right. We better get going. And if you guys want to level up, uh, there's a bunch of pirate robots out there to grind. You have three years of grinding, I'm sure. You can be stronger than these androids. So, Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been dying to fight you again. <laughs> sure. Sounds good. <laughs> What? Uh, I don't think I'm that strong, Goku. Yay! <laughs> I get to train with Mr. Piccolo again. I have Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> All right. See you guys soon, or in three years. Right. That's pretty much soon. That's like We're ten making episodes. We're home first, right, Dad? Mom's been waiting for you. Oh yeah, right. Guess I better get some FaceTime in with Chi Chi, huh? Yeah, she's worried about you. Is it okay with you if we do that? Fine. But don't waste too much of our time. <laughs> I like the little training here with the interactions of Goku, Piccolo, Gohan, and Chi Chi. This is a good episode. I believe it's a it's a driving episode where like Chi Chi like just says in her head, "Ah, oh, he's here again with an extra mouth to feed." Do you have anywhere else to go? Why don't we just off that Dr. Jero now so he doesn't even make the answer? Yeah! Oh my god! That's brilliant! Uh, sorry, Bulma. But to be completely honest right now, I really wouldn't mind fighting them. Besides, he hasn't even created them yet, so it's not like we can really beat him up. He hasn't done anything. Ugh, you're unbelievable. What is this wishy-washy logic? He's part of the Red Ribbon Army, Goku. Oh, He's evil. See you alive and kicking, Goku. Thanks, Krillin. I'm really glad you're back, too. Well, the way I look at it, I wouldn't be back if it weren't for you, buddy. I'm looking forward to it. I'm eager to join the fight and put my training to the test against these androids. He's Tien. Eh. Get on you, Tien. I'm going to do my best to help Tien with his training. Yeah. That's so cute, Chao Tzu. But really, though. So first, though, I've been hearing someone yell for prime golden dr uh, wolf meat. So we're gonna check that out first. Thank you. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I'll make quick work of you. What are these Frieza soldiers doing here? Watch this, Piccolo. What the? Bro, Frieza's gone. Why are you still here? Now I'm pissed off! It's all golden animal here. Oh! <laughs> Look at this prime gut of meat. Might cause some trouble. Lady. Best to deal with this now. Think of all the cool recipes I'm gonna make now. Stop backseat gaming! Oh, All memory! Right. That was a good episode. Prime Golden Galazin meat! Really good. Try this. All right. <laughs> Father, that stop. Like a great apple. All right. This apple looks. <laughs> we got a keeper. <laughs> Found some tasty looking food. Blue? Blue for rarity? Oh my god, that's so cool. Found some tasty looking food. Found some tasty looking food. 
<laughs> we got a keeper. <laughs> we got a keeper. This looks like a great apple. <laughs> what does a great apple look there. like? Guess I was lied to. There's no golden animals here. This onion looks extra juicy, you mean? Huh? Looks like there's some ruins. Oh, God. Don't keep on repeating that, Goku, please. That sure looked like an old temple. King Kai's planet area has been unlocked. I don't oh my god. So many options. But, uh... I think I'm gonna end this episode for here now. Uh, next episode, I think we're gonna collect some Dragon Balls. Just do some Goku, Gohan, and Piccolo training. Uh, probably not see Chi Chi yet. <laughs> she can she can wait a bit longer. She's waited what three years? A year? She can wait a little bit longer. So yeah. Uh, see you guys. We'll collect Dragon Balls. Maybe even uh, I don't know. Maybe go to King Kai's Planet too. That'd be pretty cool. We never actually walked around there. I don't believe. So that'd be actually cool. So yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This was pretty much the lower episode, but man, we're getting some pretty high rarity mats now. See you guys in the next one.